Welcome to this tutorial on audio metering. Audio meters are essential tools for project and home studio owners. They provide a visual means to monitor signal levels during recording and mixing. There are many types of audio meter, but the five primary types are single LEDs, peak program meters, VU meters, phase and correlation meters, and loudness meters. All of these types of meters can be used to either show signal level or the amount of gain reduction being applied by a compressor or limiter. Single LED meters change color and intensity according to signal level. They usually show green when a signal is present and red when the signal is within the headroom of the device or clipping. Some LEDs change intensity, glowing brighter to indicate louder signals. Single LEDs are sometimes used when cost factors prohibit the use of peak program meters or VU meters. Peak program level meters or PPM meters display the peak level of signals in audio equipment. There are many types of PPM and they all help the studio engineer to determine the peak levels in a sound wave signal. One type of PPM is the true peak program meter, which displays the changing peak level of a sound wave signal. They are used to identify the loudest peak in a signal. Another type are sample peak program meters, also sometimes referred to as digital meters, which display changing peak sample values. These types of meters are used in digital mixers, effects processors and doors. Good practice dictates that when using these types of meters, 3 decibels of headroom should be allowed to accommodate into sample peaks and avoid distortion. A peak level of minus 3 decibels is therefore required. Peak program meters often have a separate indicator which turns red whenever the signal level exceeds that which can be accommodated by the word length of the system. This indicates that digital clipping or distortion has taken place and the level should be reduced. The VU meter was developed in 1939 to display signal level in audio equipment. Due to the ballistics of its meter, it is unable to show peak levels or spikes in volume. It is therefore not good at showing peak levels. Interestingly, this limitation makes it better at showing average level, which is loudness, and this explains why it has remained popular. However, the VU meter cannot tell us what a recording's average loudness is over its duration. Phase and correlation meters show the phase relationships between two channels in a stereo signal and are primarily used to indicate how the signal will be affected when summed to mono. A phase meter will show whether a stereo signal has good mono compatibility or not. A recent development in audio metering is the loudness meter. Loudness metering is covered in a separate video tutorial. The script for this tutorial can be found at our website projectstudiohandbook.com and finally don't forget to subscribe at our website or Facebook or Twitter channel in order to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and member only extras. Thanks very much for watching.